Hello, and thank you for calling. After the scream, leave your message. Whoever has one. Oh, oh mate, pure head, but I want to drink this now, not in 20 years' time. Where's the bloody straw? Should right. I tell you what gets on my... Uh, Go for it. ...thing is? Yeah. Uber Eats. <laughs> McDonald's. So when you're over. I don't really eat a lot of McDonald's. The only time I do do it is when I've had a bit of a night and I'm thinking, oh, we'll just get that Uber Eats in. So you get all your drinks in and you get all your food in and they come and they don't have straws. You know what I mean? And you're sitting there, how am I going to get that milkshake down my neck without a straw? Do you send them back for the straw? No, no, I should do though. Hang on, are you, are you ordering McDonald's delivery? Yeah, you're not getting that? Yeah. yeah, I've just never thought about doing a McDonald's delivery. I'm not going to go out and get it. I get mobbed in it when I go to McDonald's, man. You know what I mean? Fair point. Do you know what I mean? So you I just get it delivered. Off. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's a hard work out there for me these days. Does the person who come round to your house be like, "Oh, hi, Liam Gallagher"? With the McDonald's? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does come round with his helmet on, and I'm like, ah, "Where's the straws, mate?" And he's like, ah, oh, oh, "I don't know." I'm like, ah. <laughs> "Do you know what I mean?" Do you want me? To, oh, there's another one, please. Pot noodles, right? Mm. So years ago, they used to be a bit thicker, mm. the material. So now you pour the hot water in, you can't hold the thing. Do you know what I mean? Because right. it's like too hot, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And another thing that does me not in, yeah. coffees. You know when they give it, you're really hot, you know what I mean? They, like they nuke it, you know what I mean? You go, yeah, I want to drink this now, not in 20 years' time, you know what I mean? <laughs> I need this coffee now, you know what I mean? But you're like, you're, and it's like just going to just burn your head off. Stuff like that. People that just overheat things. It's perfect. We've had so many people wanting to get on Rage today with you. Yeah. I'm going to play a few to you if you just... You wouldn't mind putting those headphones on. Um, we'll um, we'll play the first one here, which I think I think you'll relate to. Yeah, Greg. Do you know what this means? I went for lunch with my mate the other day, and she said, "Why are you having a pint of lager? It's lunchtime." I was like, "I want a pint of lager." Why would I want to spend three pound fifty five on a kid's pop drink when I can have a lovely pint of lager for just fifty p more? Don't get on my case. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. While well, you sit there and drink your pop, let me just go and get you a straw, Lisa. <sighs> no straws. Don't talk to me about the straws, mate. <laughs> yeah, no, I get that. And another thing that does my annoying is people when they turn around and go, you're coming out for the beer? And you go, no, 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 I'm trying to be good. And they go, just come for one. What is the point of going for one? Do you know what I mean? They yeah. just try to pull the wool over your eyes, aren't they? You know what I mean? Whoever has one. <laughs> Ooh, no, I'm going to get up, put my clothes on, meet you in the booze. All right, man, how's it going off? Oh, your dog died. No, you got to listen to that, and then you have the beer, and that is it. <laughs> if we're going out. We're gonna go out. We're gonna have a hundred. You know what I mean? One hundred. Well, one, we're not. We you know what I mean. Are you gonna at least ten? Aren't you? You know what I mean? Not gonna one. But the thing is, though, when people say, Do you, uh, "Have you ever been to a boozer and had one drink and no, then gone home?" But I take it no point. In no, that. but I take exception to the friend who would go, "Ah, oh, I'm not coming out because I'm not drinking at the moment." Right. Oh, yeah, but sometimes you have to have a breather, though, don't you? If you've got yeah, but, stuff you can, on. but you can still go out the house. No, God, you can't. What, to the pub? And what, do what? Mm. Drink, like a soft drink. Which you'd rather just sit at home on your own? Well, I don't sit on my own. <laughs> With you know your McDonald's I mean? being delivered. Well, yeah. I don't go to the pubs to drink soft drinks, you know what I mean? Fair enough. Or to drink one pint of lager. Yeah. So you just turn down the night. I Done. just turn down the night because it's no good to me. <laughs> there you go. All right, next up. Greg, the one thing that really grinds my gears is when you go to a garage to buy some chocolate and you get to the counter and then you just have an array of questions. Do you have a points card? No. Do you need a bag? No, I'm buying one item. Would you like any of these other offers? No, otherwise I would have brought them to the till. Any petrol today? No, there's no car on the forecourt. I just want to buy this mailbox. <laughs> <gasps> Yeah, totally. When people, when you walk into a shop and that, and they ask you, do you want any help? In a minute. You know what I mean? In a minute. I've just got my second foot in the door, you know what I mean? In a minute. If I need help, I'll get it. You know what I mean? When you come and pounce on you straight away, you just want to headbutt them, don't you? you know what I, mean? <laughs> I never thought about headbutt Oh, mate, I, pure headbutt. I want to talk about music. We've got Hang a good on. one. We've got a good one about singing in different accents, OK? you got some singers that keep the accent in there, but then you've got other people that just sing and then automatically lose their accent, like... If I was singing it, it'd be, you don't have to go, work, 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 work. You can work from home, right? But no, these people are like, you don't have to go to work, 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 work. You can work from home. <laughs> oh, oh. You shouldn't lose your accent, pal. 
They so it should be. I mean, you've always been very clear about singing in your own accent. Yeah. He, uh, he wouldn't sell many records with that accent, though, would he? We actually... Uh, Do you know what I mean? That's the song. And then his version was... You know what I'm about? Work, 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 work. You can work from home. It's got a bit of charm about it, though, isn't it? Yeah. He's staying close to his roots and that, but he's not going to get very far, is he? Yeah. The singing's all right for me, you know what I mean? It's when they do an interview and that later on down the line, they've been to America once and they come back and they start speaking American, you know what I mean? They're the ones. <laughs> they the geezer out of the Arctic Monkeys, he did it, didn't he? You know what I mean? He started putting, getting his hair in a quiff and that and big biker leather jackets on, you know what I mean? It's like when he goes back to his mum's, does he really walk in the door with that biker leather jacket on and go, hey, mum, can I have some tea? You know what I mean? She's going to give him a clip, isn't she? You know what I mean? <laughs> And he, he lost his Yorkshire accent and that, which is sad and that. But yeah, there's a lot of them out there, man. OK, how about this one? Why do people, when they're hanging up on you, go, bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye? Why don't they just say, see you later, <laughs> bye? <laughs> Not, bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Are you a fan of it? Do you leave voice? They turn it to sheep, don't they? Back, back. Ba -ba 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 yeah, not good. Am I good at voicemail? Yeah. yeah do but you leave I, good voicemails? Yeah, I leave different accents, though. Do you? That geezer probably won't like it. And what, like, what are your favourite accents? accents? It's really posh, you know. Go on. I don't know how to do it now. Like, so, like, if... Why, hello there. This is Mr Gallagher speaking. Is there any chance you could bring my bloody straws? <laughs> <laughs> how am I meant to bloody eat this burger eh, without a bloody straw? <laughs> Taking a bloody piss. Something like that. But then they're a bit more angrier. <laughs> Where's the bloody straw? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a brilliant voice. It is fantastic, isn't it? Who do you model it on? Oliver Reed slash Roger Moore. Mm. There's a rage that I had this week. Go on. Which I want to bring up to you. As I've said, big fan of yours. Go on. Did I see where this is going? Big fan you're of gonna, Oasis. You're going to stick the boot in now. Big fan of Noel. Go okay. on. I'm big fan. He was on Jules Holland the other night. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen it. And he had someone uh, playing the scissors. Yeah, very badly. <laughs> Scissors on this screen. Yes, it's Noel Gallagher and high-flying birds. Now, I watched it and thought, I'm going to give this a minute. I'm going to see what the scissors do. Couldn't hear them. No. Nah. Not sure what the point was. Me neither. I'm going to have someone sharpening a pencil at my gig. It's going <laughs> to proper blow people's minds. I could do something in the background you if you wanted to. Yeah, maybe get a sticker book out and, like, put stickers in it, I reckon. that With a load of reverb on it. And, you know, with the right crowd, if you give them enough booze and that, I think go down well. That was one of the best things Find about school. It's a bit strange, you know what I mean, the scissor thing, you know what I mean? It's like, it's all right if you're 20 and you're on your head on mushrooms and that, but the guy's 50 now, man, you know what I mean? And if he really is trying to convince people that playing scissors is the right way to go about business, he needs to have a big, long lie down, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Liam, thank you so much for being You're, on the show. You are very welcome. And thanks for doing Rage. I thought you'd be great, and you were great. Well, I was half decent, mate. No, I think as you were. As long as I was half decent, I think it. I think it was half decent. It was more than half decent. Well, that was extraordinary. What a man. I do Rage Against the Answer Machine on my show every Wednesday at ten past five. If you want to be part of it, like Liam, then you can call this number now. Number up. Or you can email a video of yourself doing it here. It's over my face. In the meantime, watch Jennifer Lawrence doing hers here. Cheers.